victims. Aren't we all? What's going on? It's T3 Collects back with another video. This video is all about The Crow. As you guys know, this is my favorite movie of all time. And I kind of just wanted to go over the uh, collection that I have. And uh, I guess we'll kind of start off right here. So we got some postcards of The Crow. Obviously nothing on the back of that one. And that one, which is the poster I have right there. But here's a tiny version of it. I got these at the San Francisco Pier 39 Wharf at a poster shop, which is still there, but they moved and it's a lot smaller. But anyway, got those there. Then we got the graphic novel, James O'Barr's The Crow. I actually got this for like $3 at the flea market where I live. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, the back cover's torn. It is <laughs> mangled. But pretty cool. I got that for three bucks. I used to have it. I used to have the first issue of Caliber Comics Crow number one. Long story short, it's no longer in my collection. And I'm very sad. I wish I still had it. And then uh, we've got the new Crow with Bill Skarsgård. So this is the San Diego Comic Con exclusive poster. Uh, shout out to Cody for getting this to me. Uh, he went to San Diego Comic Con and was able to grab me. Not one, but two. I know this isn't the Brandon Lee version, but it's still, I do like the poster, the movie, eh. But anyway, let's get into some physical media. My good friends at Toy Scale sent this Laserdisc, which I had been looking for for a very, very long time as a birthday gift. So I got every physical media version of The Crow that is out now. This was the last piece I needed. So... There's that. I do not have a laser disc player. I would like to get one just so I could watch this. I think it'd be kind of cool. But there it is. And put that back because I have a feeling I'm going to end up knocking something over. Because I have too much stuff. All right. Now we get into the VHS. Go follow Physical Me or Fizz Me on Instagram they have an app coming out actually it's on iOS right now so you should get that but they sent this to me as a gift as well they knew I was a crow fan and I don't have the I don't have my VHS that I had anymore so they sent me that it's very much like the laser disc and then uh, I got this at book off when I was in Southern California visiting Raphael we went to the SoCal gaming expo for eight bucks I cannot find my actual copy, so I bought another one. Uh, if I find it, it's cool. I'll have two. I don't really care. So there's those. Then we got this, Eric Draven, which is a NECA Cult Classics figure. I got this, I believe, on eBay for like 10 bucks. which this is cheap. That was cheap. I think it was 10 or 20 I don't remember, but the only... Downfall is that hole that he had to, the guy had it hung up, but I don't really care. This is a like a $50 figure, $50 or $60 figure. And there's two more. I think there's two more. Yeah, there's two more in this cult classic packaging that I don't have that I'd still need. One is him sort of like that. What is this? But I want it in package and it has an actual diode piece. So that's the other one I'm missing, and I'm missing one where he is, I'm trying to think, he has the metal piece to the church at the end of the movie. Uh, and uh, I'm also missing the rooftop scene with Top Dollar. So there's another piece I'm looking for, but eventually I'll get those. So got the Crow soundtrack, got the score, and I have City of Angels the original album score. I know it's not part of the uh, Brandon Lee era, but as a Crow fan, I feel like I had to have it. Um, I do have the Funko Soda, which is a 2022 fall convention exclusive. I got this from Hot Topic. I don't have the Chase, so I, I am missing that. So if the Chase, you want to get rid of it, uh, let me know. Then we've got the Blockbuster Rewinds. 
So I got the Common and the Chase on one shot, which there's a video, you should go check that back. Check that out from a while back. We got the Mezco, we got the Mezco Five Points. This is a very, very cool figure. Uh, I wasn't, I don't know what I thought. I thought this was gonna be bigger, but the detail, the attention to detail to this is freaking crazy because it looks like Brandon Lee. It's pretty nuts in a three and three quarter inch sized uh, figure. So yeah, pretty damn cool. Then we've got the McFarland Toys seven inch movie maniacs figure i've had that since it's been out <laughs> that packaging has moved through i don't know how many times so i got that as well and we've got the 12 inch version of that as you can tell that has moved along with me many many times it's not in the best condition i do would i would like to actually have both these in better condition and there's also a fish tank version of this 12 inch i still need and then we got the Diamond Select right there. I got that from EC Collecting for my birthday, I believe. Or well, maybe in Christmas. Then we got the poster of him sitting in the chair. And that is not all. We got more physical media. You guys have seen me uh, promote the heck out of this movie. We got the 4K version, still book, and then the 4K non still book version. So. I also have the Walmart exclusive, which is still in LA at Raf's house. Uh, this is one thing I did forget to bring back with me when I went down there. Kind of sucks, but nothing like I can't just get it shipped to me. It's not a big deal. And then we got the Crow Pops, the Funko Shop exclusive, the original one. There's another one, a Hot Topic Glow in the Dark exclusive. Also, I am missing the glow-in-the-dark version from that from years ago it's super expensive now but that's another piece I need for the collection got the this version which is basically this version that just glows in the dark and the glow-in-the-dark is really cool and we got that one which is basically an updated version of this so pretty freaking cool and then we've got a poster I don't remember where I got this from, but it's Brandon Lee. And then we've got this scene right here on top of the table at the end of the movie. And I have other posters, which I did not want to dig out for this video, but I should have. And then we've got the People Magazine, where they talk about his death. Unfortunate, it's too bad. He would have been like 50, I think, this year. But his career would have been freaking awesome after this movie. Um, not Crow related, but Brandley related. Got the Showdown Little Tokyo Laser Disc. Got that at SoCal Gaming Expo. Go watch that video. Then we have this resin bust I've had for, jeez, uh, I want to say over 20 years. Um, I would take it out, but the bird has broken off and kind of a pain in the butt. And then we've got the Greenlight Hollywood diecast cars. Yes, I have a lot. So I'll have one to keep in package, one to open. We've got the Chase with the green wheels. Then I have one, two, three, four Plymouth Grand Furies. Plus, thanks to David Thanos again for sending me the Chase, the red wheeled Chase. All I need is the blue version of either one of these, and I'll have the Walmart version. So that was pretty cool of him to send me. Then one Christmas, my sister sent me this custom Lego of the Crow, which is freaking awesome. It's in my room, so some of the stuff I took out of my room, it's dusty, as you can tell. Then here's the actual Mezco figure, which it's actually really, really good for his uh, six inch scale. I do kind of want another one because I want to put this one back and open one up. Maybe keep this one up, I don't know. But I want another one because I want to pose it and stuff. Then I have a snow globe. Yes, a snow globe. And it just shows crows and he's up the grave of Shelly. I've had this, oh my gosh, I don't even know how long. I want to say as long as I've had that resin bust 
So over 20 years, at least 30. And then we got this at Frankenstein's. There's a vendor there that sells these uh, on this foam, foam board. This is an actual poster. Um, I think this is a Mondo poster. Yes, that I do want. It's expensive though, but I figured I needed that for the collection. I love it. It's freaking sick. And if anything, I would probably get this tattooed on me. I just like the way it looks. And then recently just got this, acquired this um, from Big Bag Toy Store. It is no longer in print, this mini bust. I did open it to check and make sure it wasn't broken. Looks fantastic. I, um, I will probably end up putting a lot of this in a behind here. This is all gonna get cleared out eventually when I get the new cases that Ikea has. They're not called Detolfs, they're called something else. So I'm gonna get a couple of those. Crow, all my crow stuff's gonna go back here. And then we got this head knocker locally. Uh, my friend was at this new shop and he sent me a picture and I went straight away. The guy had $95 on this and I noticed that his finger was broken. So I looked on eBay and the cheapest was like 25 or 20 bucks, I believe. We sold on 25. I glued the finger back. And once I get those cases, he will come out and he'll go in the display case. So another thing that's knocked off my list that I've been waiting to find, I finally got it. And then one of the grail pieces I got at Toy Depot. Shout out to Mike and Kevin at Toy Depot. These Gentlemen had hold, held on to this thing for months for me until I could come down. And when I came down to visit Raf, go to SoCal Gaming Expo, we went, I picked it up. I got a great deal on it. So shout out to you. Thank you, Kevin and Mike at Toy Depot. You guys are awesome. But yeah, look at this thing. <laughs> it's freaking creepy. And it was from Spencer's back in the day, limited to 6,000 or limited to 30,000. This is 6,066. Great number to have. The batteries do not work, but yeah, it's pretty creepy looking. But had to have it for the collection. I mean, dude, it's freaking the crow. You don't see stuff like this like ever. I have only seen this one other time. Years ago, years and years ago. Probably, I don't even know. This came out, I wanna say this came out, yeah, 2001, so. I was still working at Circuit City then, or Blockbuster. I don't remember now, probably Blockbuster. And I remember seeing this at Spencer Gifts, and when I went to go back to get it, it was gone. But now I have it, I spent a lot of money on it. It's a grill piece for the collection. The Crow collection's gotten a lot bigger. Not complaining, there's just a lot of things I'm missing. And last but not least, we got the Hot Toys, thanks to JJ. He knew I was saving all my money, selling off my Star Wars Black Series for this, and he just sent it to me as a gift. Because he is like a brother to me and one of my best friends. It's freaking so awesome. I love this thing. This sits in my room on a shelf. I figured I'd take it out for the video. But I look at this thing every freaking day when I wake up in the morning. And it is awesome. Look at that. So sick. But yeah, that is not it. Last but not least, this video game is Crow City of Angels. I've had this since 1996. It's the worst video game ever made, I feel like. But it's also a very expensive game because it's pretty rare to find. And I don't really remember how I found this. So obviously I got it as first stop video, which yeah, we had that video store here where I live. So we must have sold it cheap. I don't remember, but that is a very rare game and I stay in the collection. Also have the vinyl to the crow. I have the score to the crow. I have both scores, the anniversary and 
another version of it and then I have the actual soundtrack to The Crow on vinyl. So yeah, that is The Crow collection currently as it sits. It'll keep continuing to grow as I keep finding more and more pieces. Especially the real toy stuff is what I'm really missing. And then some of the Diamond Select stuff. I do have another Diamond Select uh, Crow VHS style which is in one of these bins. And recently Raph was at the swap meet and found a very rare and hard to find Diamond Select statue. And I was like, oh my god, dude, you got to pick that up for me. He picked it up for me. He got it for a good deal. It goes for 100 plus on eBay. So he got it for way cheaper than that. So I'm super excited. I can't wait to have that at the house in the collection. But that is the update. That is the Crow collection as of now. If you guys have any Crow merchandise, let me know. Email is in the description of my videos. Also, you can hit me up on Instagram or TikTok, whatever, whatever way you want to get a hold of me. But yeah, that is the Crow Collection. Hope you guys enjoy this quick video of an updated version. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the movie. Did you guys see the new Bill Skarsgård one? If you haven't, you can go watch my review from like three or four videos back. And until then, I'll keep you up to date on the Crow Collection. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Make sure you give a thumbs up the video. If you didn't like the video, thumbs it up anyway. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for all your support. Peace.